Johnny, can we make some coffee? Yeah. What do you think of the, the view? Not a bad oh, spot, right? Uh, eh. Okay. What? I'm kidding. No, this is Jeez. super cool. This is like super cool. Good to have you. Thank you. Thanks it's for been, joining me. What? The last trip we took in the Slumber Queen was in April, right? Yeah. Tessa hasn't been in the Slumber Queen traveling with me since the maiden voyage back in like April. Yeah. Yeah, it was April. Yeah. Because we went on your birthday. We did. We did go on my birthday. Welcome. Thank you. I hope it's it lives up back. to your standard of travel. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Let's try it. It's actually pretty good. <laughs> Where's the woo? Woo! There you I'm go. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> this is a this is a mocha pot. It's yes. a really old school Italian little espresso stovetop yeah. coffee maker. Pretty cool. It makes a good cup of. It's not exactly espresso, it's but the it's, closest it's the thing closest you can get thing you to get. espresso without the actual machine. Yeah, so pretty cool. This is what Tessa uses for coffee. Yes. Bye. See ya. Thanks for joining. Oh yeah, I'm just here for the coffee. Oh, leave me now. My Uber's waiting for me. <laughs> See you later. Jesus, you almost fell out. What the heck? Wow, you can't do that. Okay, fine. That's so mean. Jeez. See what I have to put up with? The bullying? Tess and I are on the road right now. Uh, it's great to have you here. It's actually really nice to have company for a change because as you guys have commented in the past, it gets kind of lonely being out on the road alone. So it's awesome that Tess is here. We are headed up to Olympic National Park, the, the Olympic National Park area. We don't know exactly where we're gonna go. Tessa has like the entire week off of work. So we're just, we're just going. We just hopped in the Summer Queen and we're going and we're seeing where we end up. But anyways, we're gonna hit the road and we're gonna bring you guys along. Grab a coffee, grab a beer, enjoy the video. Till next time, cool spot. Yeah. Left. Yeah. Oh, I don't if think I'm can. supposed to go left here, that's why. Well, Same whatever. But thug life. Thug life. Whoa. We are trying to go eat at this restaurant that the attendant at the rest stop that we stayed at recommended but it's cash only. So we're gonna go see if we can get some more cash right now, cause we don't have cash. Cause it's 2021 and who carries cash anymore? I think they're Got the money, honey. Whoop, whoop. Where's yours? This is like a homemade orange, walnut, strawberry jam. So good. Mm. 
stuffed that was pretty good oh you have my keys thanks so that place apparently uh the lady who suggested this place said that i have to try the fried oyster omelet and although i love oysters an oyster omelet sounded a little bit weird so i didn't get that that's what this place is known for if you're ever in the area 42nd street it's long beach washington pretty good pretty good solid breakfast good stuff now we gotta hit the road I'm gonna order this one. It has a cute little kitty cat and a cute little doggy. What? <laughs> so uh, we're about to go into none other than Walmart to get some groceries. So much produce. I guess lots of produce is a good thing. And you guys know, no trip to Walmart is complete without the signature 50 cent pecan pies. PB and J sesh. PB and J sesh? Yeah, this round is a, two. This is round Cheers, two. Cheers, boy. Cheers, my dude. The gourmet BB and J, isn't it? My dude. My dude. <laughs> a little bit on the dry side. Should have went a little heavier with the jam. Should have followed my suit. Oh no, there it is. Oh, why did you call me my dude? Why not, my dude? What's wrong with that, my dude? And we just camp here. Walmart. Oh, hell no. Tessa smelled fish, and I was like, yeah, maybe they're cooking fish upriver or something. But there's this gigantic, I think that's a coho salmon. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm pretty sure that's a coho salmon. Could definitely be wrong. Uh, but that thing, that thing stinks. I don't know if, maybe we should move. There might be some bears attracted to that. But it looks pretty old. It looks like it's been there for a long time. I don't know. I don't know. It's pretty gnarly. I knew there was a fish around. I was like, there's that thing's huge. There. It startled me when I saw it. I, I was, was like, like, oh crap, what is that? <laughs> I don't know if y'all really, can you see can't this. Really tell but that. There's another there's one. another dead fish out. Literally over here. hanging out. I don't just... see why there are all these dead fish around here. I think because they were going upstream. And then no, they not. Just... The other one was so far out of the oh, water. Oh, he barely has a tail. He's been there for a while, hun. He's looking at me. He's looking at me. Okay, bye, Mr. Fish. Go. Bye, Mr. Fish. Go. Oh. There we go. Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> Is he going? He's going, gone. All right. Good. It stinks like smelly, rotten fish because we just removed two smelly, rotten fish. Oh, yeah, we removed the other one, but... I failed at recording it. For two reasons. <laughs> I don't want these big dead fish around where we're camping because this is bear country. 
so you never know second of all the uh the fish the dead fish will be better off in the river because that way other fish will feed off of the you know the body crawdads can feed off of it and it's just returning it back to where it came from but now it stinks like fish around here I also just feel better camping here without these giant dead fish just hanging around everywhere. Well, Tessa over here is really cold and I will agree it's pretty chilly so we're gonna try out the the heater once again and last time I tried to start this on a video I said that it wouldn't work because the fan was controlled the bat by the battery and the battery isn't working but since then I have fixed the battery issue everything has been working totally fine knock on wood so we're gonna give this a shot and hopefully the furnace will work because this thing this thing is nice. It gets it very warm in here. It's one of the selling points, honestly. It's on? Yeah, the, the furnace is on. We'll All just right, see if then the... Alright, turn on the grate. It takes a while. Here, I can for the fan? Higher. To new adventures. To new in adventures. In oh. the summer queen. In the summer. And out. And out. Of the summer queen. Like maybe international travel. Maybe, maybe that's coming up. Cheers. one on or not. And oh my gosh, a lot of veggies for one small cast iron. Reliable. I love this guy's time. We've been through a lot together. May I? Mm, why not? Wow. Let's so the lame kids so generous of you, Tessa. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you kindly. No problem. From the deepest, darkest corners of my heart. Thank you. Well, this is just a random bowl of healthy vegetables and goodness and quinoa. No recipe or anything, just kind of threw together some ingredients. We do this all the time. Yeah, we do that. This is, I used to cook like this, like, primarily. It's just throwing together random stuff. Pretty good. Mm-hmm. Can you see me now? Can you see me now? <laughs> It's just a Brussels sprout, dude. If anything, it's probably good for your hair. Well, because when I stepped outside, it was kind of wet, too. The floor, so I was like, huh. You just really forget how fast... My cast iron is my pride and joy. Someone commented in the past talking about how they look most forward to the cleaning portions 
And honestly, you're not alone. I feel you. Cleaning is satisfying. Cleaning is very satisfying. I kind of slightly, maybe kind of slightly have an OCD thing when it comes to cleaning. Okay, that was terrible. Honestly, <laughs> Tessa, thank well, you. What was thank worse, you, my dancing? Or but, <laughs> oh, shit. That's the shot we are going for. Mm. How many layers of blankets do you have right now? I have a zero degree sleeping bag, a sheet, and then this comforter. And then we're gonna use that guy on top, so. <laughs> <laughs> I would estimate right now it's no colder than 30, 36 minimum. I don't even know if it's that. I don't think it's been announced yet, but I don't, I sleep with a heated blanket every night that's how i fall asleep i fall asleep when i am warm and toasty good night guys see you in the morning yes say good night Hopefully there's no more dead fish. It's actually pretty sweet that we managed to three nights in a row now get a camp spot right next to or right in front of a body of water 
and it was a different body of water or like different setting each time which is super super cool it doesn't always turn out like this you don't always get these like spectacular campsites but maybe tessa it's just my good luck charm. This one's not free, but sure. I think it's worth it. It's 20 bucks for this beautiful spot. So yeah. we got to go pay right now, actually. Yeah. Let's go. Do you have a pen? Is the... What's today's date? Hello? Dude. Today's date? I don't know. 22nd. Thanks for your help. Some bad news, guys. The the crossbar right here, I don't know what this is, the molding or whatever, it's basically covers where the two seams on the outside meet. It's starting to leak quite a bit. And now I, I did completely reseal the whole camper, so, so I thought, but there's just something about the constant, heavy Pacific Northwest rain that I think this camper isn't holding up to for whatever reason. That's not good. It's not leaking horribly, but probably gonna be a little wet tonight. Let's just go home. Let's just go home. <laughs> no. So that is the main source of the leak. It's also slightly leaking along here as well. Not good. Not good. You can't seal this up right now so we're just going to put that there for now and uh hope that hope that we don't get soaked tonight <laughs> look at that i think i think that'll work full Stop time it. honestly Stop it. oh my god full time yeah this will probably work full time no Holy crap, it's hot up here. Where am I? Oh, the roof. The roof. The roof. Morning. Morning. How'd you sleep? Great. Warm and dry. That's good. Yes. Well, folks, I think that's going to do it for this video. Uh, thanks, like always, for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I hope that you had a happy Thanksgiving. I don't know exactly when you're going to be watching this, but it is Thanksgiving time, so happy Thanksgiving. You guys go out there and go on some adventures of your own. Live life. Beat the status. Quo. Y'all know the drill. Tessa, anything to say? That was fun. 
No. Cool. I'm glad you like it. See you next time. <laughs> See you next time. Take care. Peace.